The set reset latch is a memory symbol whose output depends on which input was last pulsed high. To get a set reset latch into your program, click the logic folder in your program view, type in the speed key SR and hit enter. Alternatively, you could expand the memory folder under logic symbols and then click and drag the set reset latch over to the detail view. Now, like we said before, the set reset latch remembers which of its inputs was last triggered. If the set input is triggered, the output of the latch goes high, and if the reset input is triggered, the output of the latch goes low. You can think of it kind of like one of those clicky pins that has two buttons, one of them to make the ink appear, and then the other one to make the ink retract. Let's make a quick example program. I'm going to drive the inputs of the set reset latch with outputs from an X panel, and then I'll tie the outputs of the reset latch back into the X panel. So a pretty simple program, but we'll compile and upload anyway. Now that the program is running, let's take a look at how the set reset latch works. By default, the output of the latch is off, but by pulsing the set input, we notice that the output goes high, and then when pressing the reset button, the output goes low. And if you keep an eye on the out star output, you'll notice that it is exactly the opposite of whatever out is. And even though this is a simple circuit, it is fundamental and used quite often in simple programming. Mm -hmm.